Everyone wants to be an AI engineer right now, and I get why. The pay is great, the problems are fun, and with the pace of innovation, you will never be bored. AI engineering has become a big part of my daily work at Amazon in the last year or so, so I've been working on leveling up my own skills too. I've done a ton of research on what courses exist and what their pros and cons are. Today I'm sharing my top five so you don't waste time on kinda meh courses that might not even be teaching you the skills you really need on the job. Before we jump in, here's how I evaluated these courses. As a first filter, I only included courses that actually teach AI engineering, which is about applying and deploying pre-trained models, not just machine learning theory. A lot of courses get this wrong. I also wanted to prioritize courses that give you a real foundation across the discipline, not just focused on one topic like prompt engineering or fine tuning. I tracked everything in this spreadsheet and ranked them. For the top five courses, I decided the final order with scores in five more granular buckets. First, theory. How well the course teaches things like model architecture. Next, engineering. How much you learn about how to actually deploy and build AI apps end to end. Next, price. After that, ratings and user sentiment. And finally, interactivity, because I know I'm personally much more motivated when the content is on the more interactive side. Each score ranges from zero to two, and we just take the sum of the scores for the final overall score out of 10. Here are the results. Course number five, Generative AI Engineering with LLMs by IBM on Coursera. This seven course specialization from IBM costs about 50 bucks a month if you want a certificate, but you can also audit everything for free. IBM estimates three to six months at four hours per week, but you can definitely move faster if you want to. The program has a 4.5 star rating with about 9,000 active learners this year, and the instructors are the same IBM team who built Watson X. The specialization starts with the basics, what generative AI actually is, how it evolved from older models, and what problems it's best at solving. From there, it digs into the structure of large language models, including the transformer architecture, which is the key reason models like ChatGPT understand and generate language so well. Next, you'll learn about fine tuning, which means taking a general purpose model and teaching it to perform better on specific tasks using your own data. They go into a lot of detail about the different kinds of fine tuning that are used at different phases of the model lifecycle and some more modern approaches. You'll also explore how to design prompts in a more structured way, how to build apps that can answer questions based on documents, and how to connect your app to real data. At the end, there's a final project where you put everything together, building a working app that lets users ask questions and get answers based on information you provide. You'll design the user interface, plug in the AI model, and link it to your own mini database of knowledge. The entire course runs in your browser, so you don't need to install anything complicated, but the labs are, in my opinion, pretty handholdy. There isn't a ton of actual coding you'll need to do on your own. So here's the ranking for this course. I give theory a 2.0, engineering 1.0. There are some hands-on elements, but not enough to actually work in the field. The price is a 1.7. This is the most expensive course on the list if you want a certificate, but it's still super inexpensive compared to other options. Ratings get a 1.5 and interactivity also gets a 1.5. There are interactive labs and quizzes, but most of the content is lecture videos. So the total score is a 7.7 out of 10. In my opinion, this course is perfect for data scientists who want to add AI engineering skills, but it won't really teach you how to deploy models to production. You will get deep into the math and intuition behind the models though. Okay, course number four, Associate AI Engineer for Data Scientists by DataCamp. As the name suggests, this is another one aimed at data scientists, but I ranked it higher because it's more practical. This is a 13 course track that takes about 40 interactive hours. It's bundled with DataCamp's premium subscription, which is about $40 a month, and I think you can finish it in a month or two. Nearly 10,000 learners have completed it so far with good user sentiment overall. You start by reviewing core machine learning concepts, supervised versus unsupervised learning, scikit-learn pipelines, and deep learning with PyTorch. Then you move on to transformers with separate modules on prompt engineering, fine tuning methods, and responsible data management. The middle section covers working with the Hugging Face Hub, vector embeddings, and a bit about explainable AI. But for me, what really sets this track apart is the MLOps thread running through it. You'll work with MLflow for experiments, version control with Git, automated testing with PyTest, and get a conceptual overview of CI-CD. Most courses skip this, but if you want to be an AI engineer, your job is almost definitely going to involve deploying models to production. You need these skills. This course is a good option if you want to refresh basics, understand LLMs, and learn how to safely deploy things to production. The downside is it's not totally comprehensive. You won't get much on agents or RAG, for example. Also, DataCamp works well for beginners since it's intuitive, browser-based, and kind of gamified to help you build that momentum early on. So here's the ranking. 
Theory gets a 1.3 out of 2. Engineering gets a 1.4 out of 2 because there are some really good elements there. Price is 1.8. $40 a month is definitely competitive. Ratings are 1.5. There's no specific ratings, but it's been taken by tons of learners and overall Datacamp has great reviews. And a 2.0 for interactivity. There's tons of hands-on content. That gets us to an 8 out of 10. By the way, in the interest of transparency, Datacamp sponsored this video, but all my research and opinions are my own. I wanted to work with them on this because I really like their platform and I think their courses are great. Now we're on to course number three, the Hugging Face courses on LLMs, Agents, and MCP. Hugging Face has a ton of great resources on their platform. I'm focusing on three courses that I'm kind of considering one since you can just bounce around between them. The LLM course, the AI Agents course, and the Model Context Protocol course. Everything is free to read online, and most units link out to runnable notebooks in Colab or Spaces, so you can experiment with real code as you go. The content is constantly updated, which is a major advantage of this course, and it's available in a ton of different languages, which is really cool. The LLM course is structured across 12 chapters, starting with Transformer Basics, loading models from the hub, tokenization, data sets, and building towards fine-tuning, evaluation, and sharing interactive demos. Hugging Face says to expect about six to eight hours per week pacing per chapter if you follow the guided path, but you can definitely go faster. The AI Agents course starts at the very beginning explaining what agents are and what they can do, all the way to building and benchmarking your own agent. There's content on popular frameworks like Small Agents, Llama Index, and LangGraph. Later units walk through an agentic RAG use case, and there are bonus units on fine-tuning for function calling and observability. Finally, there's the Model Context Protocol course. As AI apps increasingly need live data and tool access, MCP is emerging as the standard way to let models talk to external systems. This course introduces the protocol, then moves into SDK-driven labs with Python and TypeScript examples where you implement clients and servers, wire up tools, and tackle real integration challenges. You have to set things up yourself to do the assignments, like your code environment, even if that's just Colab, so it's a little closer to what you'd actually need to do on the job. There's a Discord server for questions, and while there are some auto-generated videos if you want to listen, it's mostly reading first with code examples rather than more interactive lessons or produced video courses. So here's my ranking. Theory gets a 1.4. Engineering, 1.7. Price is a 2.0 because you can't beat free. Ratings are 1.7. There's no specific ratings, but it has excellent user sentiment and lots of GitHub stars. Interactivity only gets a 1.3. It can be hands-on, but you have to do more setup. So overall, that's an 8.1 out of 10. If you're self-directed and comfortable setting up your own environment, these courses are an excellent way to learn a ton without spending anything. Now we're on to course number two, Large Language Model Agents by UC Berkeley. This is a totally free 12 lecture MOOC plus an optional advanced course based on the UC Berkeley Large Language Model Agents course. This course gets overwhelmingly positive reviews from AI engineers, students, and professionals across different fields. It's super awesome that they offer a free online version of the course for anyone to take, including the recordings, slides, and quizzes. The lectures are from experts at Google, DeepMind, OpenAI, Meta, NVIDIA, and Stanford. The content covers both theory and practical implementation of LLM agents, including reasoning, planning, RAG, multi-agent collaboration, and memory systems. In addition to the technical content, the curriculum covers benchmarks, safety, ethics, and trustworthy AI. So it's a little broader than just covering agents. The structure is intense, but manageable. You get 12 two-hour lectures, three hands-on labs, plus a weekly five-question quiz. There's also a Discord with around 30,000 members that handles Q&A, study groups, and office hours threads. Multiple reviewers called the course transformative, seriously, and said it immediately influenced their work. So here's the ranking. Theory gets a two out of two. Engineering, 1.6. Price, two out of two. Ratings, 1.8. But interactivity, only one. That leads us to an 8.4 out of 10. There are some things to be aware of though. While the materials are available async, the MOOC runs on a semester system. As of this recording in early August 2025, there's not another semester announced. This means that while you can follow along with the videos and other material, you won't be able to get feedback, participate in the hackathon, or get a certificate for your work. Also, some modules assume machine learning or LLM background knowledge, which can be challenging for complete beginners. And the pace is fast and the material is dense. So probably don't start here if you're completely new. But if you want professional level skills for free, this course is hard to beat. And now we're on to our number one course, Associate AI Engineer for Developers by Datacamp. This is Datacamp's developer-focused AI engineering track. While the data scientist version focused on underlying models, this one is more focused on using APIs and actually building AI applications. It's 26 interactive hours spread across nine core courses plus three short projects. And it was last refreshed in April 2025, so that's really great. About 18,000 learners have gone through it so far. 
In the course, you'll build real applications like chatbots and semantic search engines using LLMs and vector databases. The course covers common tools like the OpenAI API, Hugging Face, Langchain, and Pinecone for vector embeddings. Again, they include LLM ops coverage, which I think is crucial and often completely missing. This means understanding how to safely deploy models, rate limit, and how to monitor your systems and make sure nothing breaks. If you want it, there's also a certificate option, the Associate AI Engineer for Developers Certificate. It's two timed theory exams at two hours each, plus a four hour practical where you build a small AI app end to end. You get 30 days to finish once you start, and it's included in the premium subscription for $39 a month. As usual with DataCamp, the learning style is pretty engaging. There's a built-in browser IDE with run tests, and DataCamp's little AI helper will nudge you if you're stuck. The scope is fairly realistic too. By the end, you've touched prompts, pipelines, vector databases, and deployment hygiene, which are all key skills that you'll actually need. Of course, you'll need to dig deeper into each of these areas throughout your career, but this is a very accessible way to get an introduction to all the major components of the field. So here's the ranking. Theory gets a 1.5 out of 2. Engineering, 1.8. It's pretty solid. Price is competitive, so I'm giving it a 1.8. Ratings, a 1.6. And as usual for DataCamp, interactivity gets a 2 out of 2, giving us an 8.7 out of 10. Overall, this course is great for software developers and those who want practical AI application experience without needing prior AI or data science backgrounds. So that wraps up our list. If you want a full roadmap on all the skills you need to learn for AI engineering, check out the video on that that's up next. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.